Greetings everyone, today we will be creating an Android application for books aka an online library app using a powerful web platform called AppGyver. Let's get to it. Now for those of you who don't know, AppGyver is a website which offers great tools and design materials to build an app from scratch without using any codes. You can check out the website from the link in the description or you just tap AppGyver like so. So first up when you sign on this the AppGyver main page, you want to sign up you can just click over here the login and sign up. When you very first time you don't have any of these because I'm already signing so it just automatically generates my email and password. So you sign up here, put your email, password, first name, last name, company, if you don't have any company you leave it blank. You must tick all of that, make sure you're not a robot and then you get your free account yes it's free so who doesn't want it you definitely go and sign up it's free so i already have an account so all that i'll do is i'll put my email and password then sign in so initially this project setup will be blank just that mine i've been doing a lot but to create a new app just click on this new app object enter the name of the application right here okay so so this is the very first page of every new app and it's a little overwhelming but we'll be getting out to every aspect of this part as we go along with the video. I'll actually make a new video on each you know, every part so check out on that. And I'm going to make it really sweet because he has all of this to explain to you what is what we wish but we're going through it just in this video. So first up, so let's just call it. So I don't think we need this or oh, this to delete any component you just click on the component and delete this okay so this is from scratch now as I said earlier in the video we will be creating an online box app which means we need our books if it's in PDF we need them to be on the net so what we'll do next is create a database that is an external container for our books upload our books there and then link it back to AppGyver using what they call a REST API. Basically, REST API will be something on the internet that will be like your worker. So what you do is whenever a user wants to get something from the internet, the REST API is the guy in charge to go and collect it from the net using the link that the programmer has set in the app and give it to the user. So the advantage of doing that will be the size of the app because obviously I am having the user to have all the books inside the app will be kind of like using too much space. So it's best if it's in a separate database so that when the user wants to get just one book, you just get it from the database which will not affect the size. So our external container in this case will be Firebase. What's Firebase? It's a Google tool that is very useful in dealing with app database, cloud storage, authentication, messaging features, and so on. So to get to Firebase, we'll just write here. Yeah. Firebase, there it is. So you go down and take this. So this is the main Firebase app. Of course, you have to log in. But if you got an email, you can basically log in anywhere. So far, I have an email. After you log in. You click on get started so we'll be creating a new project enter the name of the project okay looks like it's unique so we can use this click continue scroll down here okay we won't enable this because we won't need any of this click create i'm going to be creating a new project so once it's done loading and assume it didn't have any issues this is the main page you're going to have so what you're going to do is come over here to build so yeah you actually to create a database we'll click here yeah, and we'll start with the test mode i will click next so now don't mind about this warning nothing crazy and the location if you know your location precisely you can come and set it over here or you can just leave it as it was left here click enable and yeah it is your firebase storage is set up so now this is where we'll be putting the stuff which will link back to AppGyver. So we'll start by creating the book. Collection ID, you can set in any name here. We'll just name ours books and we click next. Then document ID, you can write any ID or you can just auto-generate an ID. Don't worry, you don't need to have all of this. It's just to identify the 
different components in books and the first one we have the names names of books we should be string string means uh, letters letters only and the value we'll just let it blank for now what we also need will be front page and lastly link for books yeah so this is a pretty looking a simple minded looking database click save and it is created from the books you get to the documents which is uniquely identified using the id and you get our three components from page links and names we'll link them back to appgiver when we want to link it back to appgiver back to the data variables we need to come over here to this data icon here so basically what this data configurator does is it's the manager call him the manager he's the one responsible for like saying that this database is from this position this guy is from here and he's come to this and that it's a pretty simple minded manager so to create a data resource we click here and here we have a series of different databases i guess we're going to be putting here. this is what we're using google firebase we could set it up but i think it's um, a little bit too much complicated or uh, to learn so we use the rest api so the rest api we need the resource id and the resource url you can put short description but that's up to you so the resource url will get that and the resource id for the resource id project id copy and paste over here for the resource url one time level about firebase is that there are a lot of things that you you don't actually have to keep in mind don't worry because you just you can just come and click here to the help and get firebase developer documents so don't worry this is not cheating a lot of professional web designers do this we need a little help i mean you, you don't want to get all the codes inside your brain of course one of machines once we're in the docs we'll click rest api and we'll choose the firebase database rest api once that's done we we'll just get here to the get data so let me again go quick into this we have the base which is where we we'll put the resource id and resource url where is the database coming from which web page this is where we answer the question the get collection will be to get whatever we we'll put the link and that is when it's from the get that we we'll get the firebase database this little container which we've created it's over here we want to get just a certain record a particular record that we use the get record we want to create that is we want to push something we want to create something we want to send something to the container from our app they will come over here we want to update that is if we for the creator we just want to update they will use this i want to delete the record this will do but for today we'll just go with the get collection so to connect our database into upgiver we'll come to the base and input our resource id remember our resource id is this the project id is the resource id next will be the resource url so i got this from the cloud store database which i showed earlier how to get it i will go to the rest resource v1 beta one dot projects dot database documents you can just type right in here rest api documents you set it up to here and you just look for this guy it's just a little scroll down and you get to here so over here the different links and the different methods we we'll call them methods that is the different ways in which you get these people here to find their methods to get the data or to do what he has to data so we have the single documents and the list of documents don't confuse either of these we'll be taking this guy why because it's longer let's take what's longer <laughs> just like i said we always take the first part copy and we paste over here once that's done we go to the get document and input what's left so what how do we know what's left we'll just come right over here and look at the documentation we cry for the parent resource name we need to copy all of this so yeah we know very well here yeah, that we can get this guy from this simple oops what is this going back over here paste yeah, we set this to g4 over here is the path which database do you want to take this is where we put now the box now the response key path can get the explanation over here uh is the part containing the relevant data okay so now test is very crucial because it actually tests your actually test this to see if it's correct so now we're going to run the test and this should work great beautiful 
so since it works we can go to set schema and it has set it so what's the search schema doing it's basically putting in whatever that i got from the test and put it into AppGriver. and now we can finally link the database to AppGriver. so all we need is this little click there and our database is now up now i want you notice that a little one just appear here don't worry it's just AppGriver's way of saying that okay we've got your database clear let me just put one because i love ones so now that it's safe we are done with linking the database first thing we will do actually will be to scroll down here get this container i know it does not the external content that we had <laughs> and then we will need another one for the books the container is very useful trust me you you will understand in a second it's very 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 useful image list item we could use this large image we we'll set it inside the container do we use this or should we use the large image item let's see which one is more favorable oh this guy we'll get rid of this one not interesting so that we have the front page the title and description but of course we don't have any new description so okay so now oh it's a little smaller than i thought so now this is where we can link our title so our title will now be the name of the database but we can't get it here yeah why because database uh michael library is made up of so many objects so this is what we go to the almighty formula of course no code yet trust me no code yet either this is all no code okay now that I'm factoring it out actually before coming here because we could just come here and setting the database names string value if you just take names then we will create other names you have multiple ones if you take this guy it takes just the name itself so you want to be taking always the values the values the values so now oh what's fun about that is that it just tells you whether the code actually works or not so it's wet and it's explanation for why it's wet uh undone reference text type but it can save so i'll just put save don't mind me okay uh, nope this is just the set preview value it will not affect your code or anything and it's there as formula now the issue is that if you do like that it means that if you have multiple books then you have to create you have to duplicate and create and come and change this up duplicate again create and come and set it up and imagine if you had 1000 books inside this little database how exciting that's going to be right so nope we are going to do that we are, prof we are professional programmers what we are going to do is come up this tree right here okay quick review the tree is just set up the the manner in which the components in the app actually set up the physical components as you can see the container is holding this if we had if we were to have another thing like this is search bar you see on the tree you can drag it up and you'll be up a layer you can drag it and put it in here and you'll be inside and to delete it just put you move here so that's it about the tree but i use the tree just to come and click this guy here and we're going to repeat it why are we going to repeat it we are repeating it we are repeating it so that like if we had multiple books we'll add other books here when we have multiple books all you do now is get the ids and everything from the books and just repeat it just we'll put one formula here and since it's repeating itself when you be array one you just take the books for one maybe array two take books for two and you get to understand don't worry don't worry just take around don't leave it's not that hard so database so we're going to repeat it with this database so basically it's going to take the database books and this long name in here and whatever is here now it's going to take just books how how many documents are here is the number of times this company is going to be repeated so it's only at four but don't worry if you have one thousand of them it's going to repeat a thousand times so once we're done repeating We'll come here and we still take the current repeat database scroll down take names 
and there you go oh they instantly put the great nice don't forget to save so this is the second book which is open the dam the first book is this guy one thing you have to understand is to be consistent and i'm pretty much not happy with the way i put names with an s but i put names here and if i were to change it i would change of that and that would be clear so everything is the same that is the main elements are the same so we can come here and reconfigure again our data just as we did before run test the test is good that scheme and now our data is updated don't forget to receive now that's saved we can come over here and of course this now will be all completely zoomed and here yeah, the cool things that now that we have a separate books we don't need the formula anymore just stretch that out you can just come over here go down to names and string value and now you just repeat it rather than us giving it the command using the repeat and everything you can just link it up here yeah? and there you go oh but the issue is that you you now link it based on how the names are so if you're in a particular order if if you don't care about the order then you can just put it like like so same thing here yeah? front page one piece string value. I want to save it. There you go. So to get our web pages open, there is actually a component in the flow function, which is called Muda. And basically, what it does is it opens a URL to give you Muda. So Muda will just be a page on a page, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So you have to like install it and once you click install you open up here drag and drop here link it over here and what's left for you to do oops is to copy it again and finally like share like the video <laughs> anyways but do like okay do like so url to open you just click over here and go to your repeat it will be over here so you go to data item in repeat click over here there's a lot of over here i know sorry for the over here and links so like when with the names and front page it's going to repeat the links that i mean the the first link will repeat the second and so forth and so forth and so with that we, we should be true let's check our app to be sure everything is okay so now we're in our app and this is the book everything looks great so what we do is we check out the first app the first book sorry <laughs> and yes it works the, bit, the book pdf is showing you can download by clicking that little button over there you can check the other the other three dot here one of it does okay and there's the book and if you look at it cleanly just over okay oh it's zoom why, why is it zoom you can zoom in and out you can it's pretty much like a pdf just a, it isn't downloaded so it doesn't take much space so basically this app won't take a lot of space compared if you had to download to also force the user to download so yeah to force the user to download the book so that's the beauty of having your stuff in the database in the net so let's try out the other the other book see if it works it takes some time and you can actually change the time it takes um to get a book that is the time for the api to move and take the book and get it back or you can just wait you know you can just wait for it to load and there you have it the two books are officially there so that ends our video for today hope you enjoyed leave a like if it was at least useful for you <laughs> comment down below how it was first ever video very freaking annoying i hope you enjoy and try your best see you in the next video